Ronald Joseph Truchkio, born 1951, also known as Ronnie One Arm, is a New York mobster with the Gambino crime family who ran the Ozone Park Boys crew during the 1990s. Biography Truchkio was born in Ocean Hill, Brooklyn and raised in Ozone Park, Queens. As a child, Truchkio was hit by an automobile and sustained severe damage to the scapula and ulna in the humerus from a severe fracture in the forelimb, leaving his arm partially paralyzed. This injury led to his nickname of Ronnie One Arm. Truchkio is the father of reputed Gambino capo Alphonse Truchkio. He lived in South Richmond Hill, Queens as an adult. In 1988 Truchkio a protege of Gambino boss John Gotti, was inducted into the Gambino family. The young guns in the mid-1990s, Truchkio was promoted to Cooper regime and given control over the Ozone Park Boys, a Gambino crew in Queens. Truchkio reportedly drove around Ozone Park looking for recruits for his crew. He drove a silver Cadillac, wore $5,000 suits, and displayed thick roll of bills. One police investigator compared Truchkio to Fagin, the 19th century London gang leader in the Charles Dickens novel Oliver Twist. The Ozone Park Boys specialized in illegal gambling, loan sharking, bookmaking, fraud, and wire fraud. Truchkio and Alphonse ran an illegal gambling operation that grossed approximately $30 million a year, with bettors who placed wagers as large as $15,000 on American football and basketball games. Truchio also owned a restaurant in Ozone Park that allegedly earned him $6.5 million but was forfeited by the Queen's District Attorney due to charges of tax evasion and tax fraud. Also involved in criminal activities in South Florida, Trocchio's crew was frequently called the Young Guns and the Liberty Posse. In October 1995, Trocchio was allegedly involved in the shooting murders of three people in Florida. Gambino associate Mark Rizzuto was found dead in Boca Raton. Gambino associate and strip club bouncer Vincent D. Angola, along with the Angola's dancer girlfriend Jamie Schneider, were discovered dead in the Angola's Fort Lauderdale apartment. The Gambino family suspected the two men of skimming family profits and sent other Florida crew members to murder them. Schneider may have been an innocent bystander. By 1997, Truchkio was reportedly concerned about the number of violent acts being committed by crew members in Florida and directed Gambino soldier Michael Chacchio to watch them. Years later, Chakio would testify against Truchkio and Truchkio's 2003 racketeering trial. Convictions in prison On December 9, 2002, Truchkio was indicted in New York State Court on enterprise corruption, conspiracy, promoting gambling and possession of gambling records. The indictment stated that Truchkio conspired to engage in racketeering, murder, robbery, arson, extortion, kidnapping, drug trafficking, tampering with witnesses, retaliating against witnesses, credit card fraud, interstate travel in aid of racketeering activity, interference with commerce by threats and violence, interstate transportation of stolen property, and thefts from interstate shipments. On April 14, 2003, Drushkio pleaded guilty to lesser charges. On October 29, 2003, Trujkio was sentenced to one to three years in state prison. On December 4, 2003, Trujkio and other family members were indicted in federal court in Fort Lauderdale, Florida for the 1995 Florida murders, two armed robberies in New York, and the 2003 Boss Hart murder in New York. On January 9, 2004, Trujkio pleaded not guilty in court to all the charges. In August 2005, Trujkio was sentenced to 20 years in federal prison. In October 2006, Trujkio and other Florida crew members went on trial in Tampa, Florida on new federal racketeering and extortion charges. Trujkio was accused of using intimidation to gain control of valet parking services for hospitals, restaurants, and adult entertainment clubs in the Tampa Bay area. In December 2006, Truchkio was convicted and in March 2007 was sentenced to life in prison. As of December 2011, 
Raul Trujillo is serving a life sentence at the United States Penitentiary, USP, in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Trujillo reportedly underwent hip replacement surgery a few years earlier and is said to be in poor health. References